I'm Toy Cat and welcome to Abney Park in Hackney. Uh, today I wanted to go around the interesting looking green space from the end of the last video and you know what? We'll do it from first person view. Look at this. You can see my face as we walk through what is probably just a normal green space. It smells very strongly of cut grass right now which some people love and some people hate but um, I wanted to talk about uh, I guess parks in general because there's an interesting contradiction in my love of cities. Oh, I can hold the bottom of this camera. I'm dumb. There's an interesting contradiction in my love of cities that I wanted to share because I also find green spaces to be delightful. I like to walk around at least a green space or two in every city that I visit. I like whenever I find a new one of these things because look at this, like the pathways. It's interesting. Do I go right? That's where the path is. Then there's some, there's something else going on over here. Let's give it a look. Is it a cemetery? Apparently it is too. And so um, yeah, despite, you know, my favorite thing about cities is it's built up and there's people all trying to, you know, like the, the number of, okay, just to keep things simple, number of things you can buy and do or find, number of people trying to find things that are interesting for you so they can sell those things to you. That's, that's like hugely interesting to me. Uh, that is the reason that I like cities so much, one could say even. And, um, so it's really interesting uh, if you if you have that opinion, like I do, to then also like the exact opposite when those things are mashed in there. Like, why would you like a green space? It's the exact opposite. There is not a single person here selling me a Mexican kebab or a, a you know like a you know an e-scooter store. There's none of that. There's there's no things like that in here, and it's interesting because you're right. I cannot buy an e-scooter in this park, and that is a grand shame. Do you think this park goes somewhere interesting? Should we follow it and find out? It probably just leads to a place people can piss in comfort, right? But um, if you uh, uh, if you follow my logic, oh, it goes like past some graves. This makes me uncomfortable. I'm not going to do that. <sighs> um, but uh, it's interesting because if you follow the exact same logic, that you know those things are good. Park should be the worst thing in the world. And when I used to visit cities, especially London, I'd be like, man, this is like the economic capital off at least half the world, right? And, uh, you know, we're gonna take some of this really, really valuable split of stakes. But you know, this, this, this land is worth a dumb amount. Uh, the fact that one of these little houses will be, uh, you know, like half a million and about half of that price, about a quarter million, will be land value. Think about how many quarter million house sized spaces you can get here, or not even houses. How about commercial places? Think about the, the rent that a place is paying in a store. And then instead, we're just gonna have grass you can have grass anywhere. Why put that in a city unless you're dumb? And that was my reaction for a really long time, because it is dumb. But something I have come to appreciate after spending a lot of time in cities is that anything that you love, um, and in my case, we'll call that the hustle and bustle of the city, to, to use colloquial terms. But uh, pretty much anything that you love has some downside for you. I. Um, when we talk about addiction, we always focus on physiological, physical, mental, not even mental, we talk about, yeah, physiological, like you need alcohol so bad, your body will shake until you need it. You need uh, heroin so bad, you will shake until you need it. But those things are the obvious examples of like, yeah, your body needs the thing so it does it. Even when you look, think about food, it's like half a physiological addiction. Like when you are hungry, your body gives you the tummy rumbles and you decide, yes, I will go eat some food. And you think it's your own decision, but it's actually your body saying, ah, we could do some food right now. And um, so I think that even if you remove that mild physiological factor that leads to the mental one, I think it's still bad to be really into something. I think that loving something too much is in fact bad. Um, or at least it's not bad, it has negative side effects you have to account for. Nothing is objectively good. In the world of, uh, you know, sad as it is, like <laughs> we live in a world of uh, things that work like economics. There are choices, there are trade-offs, there are binary, th th it's not there are binary good bads. There are things that will have some costs and be good. There are some things that will have very few costs but be bad or be not as good. And uh, ultimately, all of society, all of life, is about working out which of those trade-offs are more worthwhile uh, to make. If you buy a Mexican kebab, you might not be able to afford uh, your e-scooter. If you buy um, the e-scooter, maybe you don't make rent this month. <laughs> and isn't living somewhere more important than your e-scooter? I would say no, but that's because 
I love riding it too much. I'm just kidding, of course. Of course you should value that first. But anything that you like a lot. By the way, there's so many paths even now still. I think I'm walking like round the outside. There's like houses backing onto this. I can't imagine how spooky it must be to have your house back onto a graveyard, but I digress. Um, there is a, 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 like the, a, a danger to everything that you love. If you love, um, you know, if, even if, if you love work, you will overwork yourself. Do you love not working? Do you love the idea of, I don't know, being at home all day and doing nothing? Your, uh, that's actually kind of physiological that like, we have this like innate diet desire to do something useful for other humans, right? Some people have a stronger desire like that. Some people have lesser desires. Some people have differently angled desires or a different understanding of what it means to do things for other humans. Some people think that means firing a gun into a crowd. But the point is, is that um, there are lots of, uh, everyone has this innate desire to do both those things. And so you can't live your life fully into one or the other. Being, life is at some point all about balance. It's all about knowing what are the downsides to the things that you like and how do I mitigate those? And one of the balances of being in a city is you're very close to cars a lot of the time. Uh, most city designs require, at the very least, you know, taxis, buses, and delivery goods vehicles. But also we have private cars because why wouldn't you? But the thing all of those vehicles have in common is they're putting, I think it's nitrogen in the air, uh, as well as carbon dioxide, which is bad for the planet or whatever, as well as brake dust, I think is the really critical one because of how small the particles are. But it's putting bad things into your lungs. I don't think that's a controversial statement to anyone, but in case it is, you heard it here first. Um, but also um, being, let's call it overstimulated. It's a very messy path, by the way. Do you want to see it? Um, being overstimulated is great sometimes, but also you can't do it all the time. If it's, if you're overstimulated, I had to switch out to my phone because my GoPro died. But if you're uh, overstimulated all the time, that's just called stimulation, no? If you're understimulated all the time, then your definition of simulation just changes to be slightly lower. Same with, oh, there's a little squirrel. Oh, that's not a squirrel, that's a rat. Oh God, that is strange. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, same thing uh, with food like uh, and like hunger, like the amount you eat determines how much your body expects to eat, which determines what is a big meal or a small meal or whatever else. Um, and with pretty much everything good and bad in life, uh, this is a very random place to put a barrier, by the way. A couple of barriers. Um, but uh, with everything in life, um, finding out what the negative sides of something are and just trying to balance that out a little bit will be healthier for everything in the long run. Like working all the time, every time sounds great. And so you realize it like destroys the life that you're trying to build with the money that you get from working or even the, the, the positive, let's say you work exclusively for the good that you feel doing services for other humans. Uh, the good, that, that good feeling isn't gonna mean much when you've got a bad feeling from neglecting everything else. Um, there are so many tasks that I'm having to like focus on every day. Uh, and it's, it's hard sometimes. So I'm like, oh, I just wanna, wanna do the thing. It's like, no, you need the spare time to put aside for non-work tasks. You need uh, everything good has to be balanced with something bad. And so the reason I like uh, city parks or city cemeteries, as this one apparently is, I like them. See, isn't this, like, this is the center of London. This is zone two London. Um, and yet at the same time, it is serene. I can't see another person in sight. Don't have to think about that. There's no e-scooter salesman for me to tempt myself with. <laughs> I don't buy e-scooters all the time, by the way. I have, I have two. Um, you know, there's no, no Mexican kebabs that I think like, well, I can eat the Mexican kebab, but that might give me, you know, some, some tummy farts, uh, some liquid, some liquid bullets for a, another time. And so, by the way, I'm so lost. I, <laughs> this is a bigger park than I thought. I thought it was like a, a tiny little city park, but it's actually huge. So we're going to cut down here, I guess. Oh, this is spooky. I like this. Um, but yeah, the, uh, ultimately, um, every, everything that is good uh, needs a balance in, uh, in, into it, in my opinion, uh, because as much as you might love something, there's some, there's some downsides come of that too. And so, yeah, I wanted to round up this video by saying, I like city parks. I like green spaces in cities as an occasional break, as an occasional moment, just let the, let the brain take a rest. And I hope that you enjoyed my explanation. It's weird going through cemeteries sometimes. I find them to be like sad, depressing places, but sometimes going through them is like interesting. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, this guy was a life cut short. This was like a tragedy to 
you know, Benjamin Smith, who died at age 47, uh, that was a tragedy, right? And he had children who saw that as a tragedy, parents who saw it as a tragedy, and now those people are dead, and that tragedy is dead with it, besides in this tombstone. Isn't that wacky? You know, like, grieving the dead seems dumb and unimportant. It's just better than the alternative. Getting, getting help uh, and trying to fix certain things seems dumb and pointless because there's just going to be bigger issues. But it's like, well, would you rather have two big issues or one big issue? And so the one big issue I've dealt with today is my lack of oxygenated lungs, probably, from walking about an hour through very busy city traffic. And most importantly, the, the lack of congruency in my, my previous video, because it just went on and went on and went on, uh, balancing that out with just a calm, measured, let's go on a walk through a forest. I hope you all enjoyed it, by the way. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, and let me know, do you like the, the third channel videos, short and YouTubeable, or do you prefer them to be uh, long, incomprehensible rants? Um, and yeah, with that said, thank you, but I'll see you. I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna use your comments, I'm just gonna use the, the you know, the, the retention graphs on this video combined with my, my feelings about whether I enjoy making it or not. Because as always, the channel is just a fun thing that I do. And I hope that you enjoyed the other end of doing it, because third channel don't care. Goodbye.